Let's take a look at the ability to hide and isolate objects in Autodesk Revit. First of all, let's take a look at something I might want to hide. Right now I've got all these windows placed in my house, and I've got a tag on each one. I also have door tags. So let's say I no longer want to see those tags. Let's look at a couple of different ways that we can do that. The first thing that we can do is click on one of the tags to select it and then take a look down here at the bottom of your screen where we have our viewing tools and you'll find this little pair of glasses down here this is my temporary hide or isolate tool if I click on the glasses one of the choices that I will have will be to hide that particular tag hide element or I can hide all window tags by choosing hide category so let's look at hide element first I choose that one as you can see that one's gone Notice I get this cyan colored border around my screen. That's always a sign that you have a temporary hide or isolate applied to this view, as you can see up top here. If I want to hide additional tags, I can go ahead and select them and use the same tool again to hide that particular element. But if I want to go ahead and get rid of all window tags, I'll select one of the tags, choose the glasses for temporary hide or isolate, and hide the entire category and now you can see that all window tags are gone. If I want to hide all door tags as well, I'll just click on one of these tags, and then once more click the glasses and hide category. Now if I want to go ahead and keep those permanently hidden in my view, I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my view. So I'm going to click these glasses again, and then choose apply hide isolate to view. Now the cyan colored border is gone, it's now set this way in my view. So let's go back and turn those back on. To turn items back on after they've been hidden, you want to click this little light bulb to reveal hidden elements. When you do so, anything that's been hidden will show up as pink on your screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag to create a big selection window around everything and I'm going to click on unhide category. Click back out on the screen and I can see that no longer are those items pink. I can click the light bulb to stop showing hidden elements and everything is back to normal. One of my favorite keyboard shortcuts in Revit is if you want to just hide one item you can type EH at your keyboard for element hide Let's take a look at the 3D view. Let's say that I'm working in 3D and I really want to be able to see inside the house but this wall's getting in the way. I'm going to click on it and type EH. And as you can see it hides that wall and it applies it to the view. So any wall that I want to hide I can just type EH and of course that works for windows, anything else. So I'm just typing EH each time after I select something. Another thing that's important to note about hiding things, that is per view. So if I go back to the floor plan, the walls, doors, windows are all still there. I've only hidden it in the default 3D view. So once more, if I want to bring them all back, I'm going to click my light bulb to reveal hidden elements. I'll just do a window or a crossing around everything, and this time since I hid them by each individual element, I'm going to choose the unhide element tool instead of category and now I can turn off the light bulb and it's back to normal. Another similar tool that we have is the ability to isolate objects. So let's say that I only want to see walls in this view. I'm going to click on a wall, I'm going to come down to the glasses, and I'm going to ask it to isolate the category. So anything in here that was not a wall has now been hidden. So all the windows are gone, the fireplace is gone, everything else is gone. Now that was just a temporary one, so I can click the glasses. I could certainly apply it to the view if I want, but I'm going to go ahead and just reset the temporary hide. So I encourage you to play around with that tool, especially as you get into houses that you might do later on. You might for, find more needs to be able to see through the walls and maybe move some things out of the way. And again, you can do that either by hiding some elements or isolating the ones that you wish to see.